Shalom and good day. This is Tehillim 29 back again for another indie comic review. And um, if you happen to be seeing this indie comic review, it might be because something didn't turn up for the week um, that was meant to come out. Um, and that will go also with some of the other indie reviews that will go out. So it could be replacing something that didn't turn up for the week. But moving into first things first, and that is what are we actually reviewing here? So we have Catman and Kitten. And I must admit, a really nice cover. And we also have New Think. Issue 5. One is through dynamite and the other one is through awa upshot i'll now get things prepared for the first one that i'll be covering so now we'll begin with catman and kitten and first things first does this cover in any way shape or form connect to something that's happening inside with the story uh sure enough it does to which i give a 7.5 out of 10. Um, i'll now start to cover the internal art as well as some of the things that are happening story-wise with these characters and also who we meet. So as the story begins, we have Catman and Kitten uh, linked to something of main history. And we also get a great list of cast of characters who appear in this. Great job, Dynamite. I approve. Now I'll be skipping through some pages so we can just get a bit of a idea of some of the events that take place. Um, and in this event, someone attempts to steal something that's sort of like connected to this main mystery of sorts. And Catman and Kitten come in to save the day. They, they then get escorted by Lindy to one of their locations to which we meet Marvelo. We start to move into hitting, uh, heading towards the main forest. Catch up with some of the beasties that happen to be in there. We end up meeting one of the main protect protectors. And absolutely incredible job with their costume. <laughs> As things advance, we start to see this location is somewhat a bit of a paradise. So... In some instances, it almost reminds me a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit like Wakanda. And last but not least, we reach the end of the story. So for the internal art, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Now it's time to move in relation to the story and its rating. Um, so seeing that this is uh, like a one shot and also a beginning of a series, or it might be the beginning of a series through Dynamite, um, there's no indication needed in regards to comic references, so we move straight into time, to which the way this comes across, this takes after 1948. In the next area is location. Uh, we never really get any clear um, we get locations in drawing, but not locations as in stated by the writer. Um, to which I think that could have been better executed. But apart from that, did it take away from the enjoyment from the story? We'll get to that afterwards, or after we move into the cast of characters. So, the cast of characters consisting of Catman and Kitten... We had Lindy, we had Marvelo, we had Skyman, um, who took Catman and Kitten <laughs> to the Mayan ruins of sorts. And we had the, car uh, the protector known as Ixchow. Um Forgive me if I'm butchering it, but <laughs> that's, how it came, uh, that's how it felt like it came across in the story. But for the overall story rating for this, I gave a 7.5 out of 10. I did actually enjoy this, 
and should dynamite put out some more um i'll i'll definitely want to check out some more of their one shots because you never know what you're gonna get or what you're gonna pick up so now it's time to move on to new think issue five so as we move into new think issue five does this cover in any way shape or form connect to something that's happening inside of the story not so much and i'm g gonna have to say this um this is sort of like not the best covers i understand that they're meant to make it out like a gif um or in this case it's a riff <laughs> or a tiff a tiff file but i don't th think it really worked for the content of the story and i'm afraid i'm gonna have to give it probably one of my lowest racings which i really don't want to give it a low racing because of the internal story but it's gonna get the rating anyway which is a three out of ten but now let's move into the internal art and as to what is happening in there so as the story begins we start to move in somewhat a type of story time and if it's one thing i have sort of gotten right about this new thing series um each of these issues is a one-off individual anthology type story and this is one thing i sort of quite like of what um new think have or what the new think run has done uh, because each issue has been different from the last but each issue also addresses like some small certain things some some of the things are repeated whilst other things are sort of like changed towards the times and of course we have erratic being covered there but we move into what's happening here for the story time and this one seems to be addressing sort of like some different types of thought patterns also to how they're expressed in modern day life or in this story's modern day life and this sort of like continues throughout the whole book bringing up issues like disagreements the effects of politics and yeah it's showing both sides how both can be terrible what people do to seek peace in times of war then other forms of discrimination to other things that are explored we really get quite a lot from this story and of course many at the end of the story do want peace over war and the story continues until the end of course for this i gave the art a 7.5 now it's time to move into the area of the story um did we get anything in relation to the area of time no we didn't no i think it would help with like addressing some of the certain subjects that they like to cover um and i, I think if you think was really done well they could also cover the origins of words <laughs> like in certain areas and where they stem from so it, it could be like a good way to um not revise history but revisit history to explore the original meaning of things and how those meanings have changed throughout history that would be really good especially for this next is location well one of the key locations that this took place in was the usa the cast of characters we never really got the cast of characters but overall i give this story a 7 out of 10 until then let's keep it colorful and have yourself an awesome day